Hello there, and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to do is a cornucopia of uh, painter things. One is a painter clone, one is a painter tracing. So let's get going and see what we can do here. Uh, the clone tools in uh, painter are, are kind of fun. You can do all kinds of cool things with it. You can make paintings out of it. You can just soft clone, you can hard clone, all kinds of cool things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this fire guy into these flames. And that seems very appropriate, doesn't it? So the way you do it is this. You go to your file menu, which I can't show you. I suppose I could, but I don't like that thing that travels around. And you ch uh, select clone source, and you come down to the one that you want to be your source. In this case, it's the fireman. So I'm making the fireman the clone source. The second thing you do is you go to your tools. These are my tools. Now this is Painter 10 I'm using. This works for Painter 3 Essentials as well. And I'm going to drop down the tools. And you can see I've got tons of tools here in Painter 10. Uh, I think it's down far there. Let's do this again. Cloners. Oh, what do you know? And now I'm going to drop down here. And you can see I've got all kinds of different cloners. Tons of them. Uh, but I'm going to choose Soft Cloner. And I've got a 25 pixel brush. If you're using Painter 10, so you Painter Essentials people can just kind of zone out now, you go down here and just get your brush creator. When I first saw that thing, I thought it was for making your own brushes, but it's not. It's for setting the dynamics of your brush. Um, I don't know what that one is, so I'll turn it off. General, I've got it set for opacity, and its expression is pressure, so the harder I press, the darker it'll get up to the maximum. I can turn it way down or way up or whatever I want to do with it. Amazing. Size, I don't want it to change with size. Now I can change I'll call these things and I haven't uh, experimented with them but I just wanted it none. So let's get rid of that. So now I've got the fireman is a clone source. The flame is where it's going. I've got a soft cloner and let's just start going here. You just press, you can see he's just starting to show through a bit there. And uh, this is one of these things that's that is your um, the way you feel about things is is how it's going to end up. So I'm not going to spend hours doing this because I know you'd turn off your computer and go away. Uh, but we'll just get get around here quickly. There's this little axe. It's not a little axe. Is it? It's a monster axe. There we go. Get the whole thing in there. And up through his face, make it a bit clearer. So there you go. That's I mean we could stop there. You can go a bit farther. We can go all the way with this if we want. Um, other things we could do with it, if we wanted to make it kind of painty, uh, we can do some painty things by going back up to our brushes and choosing a different cloner. So let's go up here and see what we got. Uh, let's do a camel oil cloner. We'll just do it down in his coat. Make it a bit bigger. Okay, just. You can see it's kind of like a painting now. And I had set this for uh, for pressure sensitivity, for opacity as well. So this is just, you know, a quick indication of what you can do with this. And you can see it's uh, just making it like brush strokes. See, Painter is, is a cool program. Great program. And uh, you're, you're limited by your imagination. Unfortunately, I don't have very much artistic imagination. I just know how to use it. So I can't draw. I can draw stick people, but they're not terribly exciting. Okay, so that's uh, kind of our, our quick and dirty thing for this, for, uh, for painter and cloning. Now you can do this on any picture. You could take your vacation pictures, you can have fun with it, you can do all kinds of goofy things. So there we go. And if we wanted to work in really closely with this, I'm sure we can do a nice job of painting his face, too. Uh, let's get our size right down. Now we got to... We can just kind of paint away at his face and make it like a painting as well. So it's, it's you're limited by your imagination, but these things, to get them really nice, they're going to take some time. You're not going to do it quick like I'm doing it here. And you know, So that that's our, our clone. Let's just double tap on this. Eh, okay, so it's, it's not too bad. Okay, now the next thing we want to do 
just to show you a quick uh, tracing thing. You got this great fireman picture. It'd be nice to have this as a uh, as a line drawing. So how are we going to do that? Well, in both Painter 10 and in Painter Essentials, you have on your file menu a thing called Quick Clone, and this is what it does. It makes a quick clone, and you can see suddenly it's kind of hard to see. It's not as easy to see. That's because tracing paper is turned on. I can use the Controller Command T to get rid of the tracing paper, or the background image, or I can bring it forward. I can also change the opacity of the tracing paper over here by going 10%. You can hardly see anything. That's 50%, which I was using, and there's 90%. So you know. I guess I had it backwards at 10% you can see everything. So let's go to 50%, turn it on, move it up, and I'm just going to get set up here. Okay, so what I've got now is I've got a pencil, a 2B pencil, and it's black. You see I've got it down here in black. And our brush creator on our pencil is size is going to be nothing general pressure on opacity and grain is going to be opacity as well okay so we're ready to go so I've I've gone and I've done the quick clone and I've set my tracing paper the at to the way I want it and I've got my pencil so now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and this is I've got six minutes here let's see we'll just do this for a couple minutes get my pencil back again and we just kind of start tracing it. And as I press lighter it gets or, yeah, as I change the pressure it gets lighter. And uh, this one there's definitely not going to be much time to do this in because it's it's a fine detail work, right? And I, I don't want to bore you with that. Besides I don't think I can put the file that big to finish this. Uh, Okay, so we've got his helmet kind of done there. Let's turn off our tracing paper and just see how magnificent this is. Isn't that wonderful? And you can just keep working and working and working and working away at it until you get it the way you want it. And in the face part here, let's move this up a bit here. In the face you've got this. Well, you can just go lightly and shade it in because it's a pressure sensitive tablet that I'm using. That may be too much, but you know, there we go. We got some, some pressure there. So hang on, I'm going to show you what I worked on for a while. I'm just going to load it up and I'll show you what it looked like after a long time of playing with it. Okay, I'm back. Um, here's the fireman. I've got it set at 10% opacity. So if I turn the trace, and I, I was working on this for a while, turn the tracing paper on, that's what I've got. So you can see it's not too bad. Um, I certainly don't have time to do this uh, in, in the time I have left. But you see, you know, there's the pressure sensitivity here, and you can see I went darker, and it was fairly easy to get around the lines. I made some mistakes, so I flipped the pen over and used the eraser. That's the uh, advantage of having a, a tablet, uh, a Wacom tablet, Bamboo, and Tuos, or Graphire, and, and you can do these cool things. So there you go. That's a couple things you can do with Painter. And... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found uh, something you're maybe looking for. And thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye now.